If you're a smart artist, you'll always be on the streets, manze, listening to whatever is happening. So, it's not like Iceland, Skidogo. To get inspiration and motivation, I bump into my old friends, manze. To ensure when you're trying to keep it real. You know, it's really easy for guys to forget where you came from, man. Way back here in Iceland, almost every young guy used to be in music. But all of a sudden, man, I think we, we got to a point where life became so difficult that you have to make ends meet. And they gave up on music, man. Lord knows I tried, but music did not let go of me. So, am I the lucky one? When I'm coming up with a song, I'd want to stir up something in you. I'd want to provoke an emotion. I wouldn't want to let you be the same way you were before you had the song. So at the end of the day, if at all I achieve to provoke an emotion from someone, then I've made it. That's just all I want. He was making a lot of noise. He could sing in the bathroom. He could sing in the toilet. So we were getting fed up with his singing. And then a time came that we had a laptop in the house. Now that was another challenge because we could not use the laptop for anything else. He started learning how to play the guitar. He, he, the, the keys were off, but he kept on learning. And, and one day, because I was not paying much attention, one day I just saw him playing so effectively. And I got so embarrassed. I never paid a single coin for him to go and train. I've always been a technical guy, yeah? And ambitious in whatever I wanted to learn. I was so addicted to cars. I was so in love with cars to a point that I ended up working at my dad's garage. That was not a good life because, well, uh, we are fixing things. <laughs> I get into trouble for singing while people are working. And uh, I think that was the breaking point where I just decided, okay, as much as I want to learn things, there's always that first love you always go back to, which was music, man. I've never been consistent with anything else, only music. This is a specific place where I was kicked out <laughs> because of being a musician. Instead of fixing things and working with guys, spent my time, man, coming up with music. So a lot of my compositions were done randomly, man, in the middle of this whole frenzy of fixing and repairing cars, I would just get into one car, come up with the jam, compose my stuff, and it was easy, manze. And you know, when you start to sing an emotional song, manze, in a way, your mind isn't straight out right, so you're in no position to work. Then enough was enough. I think I was kicked out from every single place. You can imagine the kind of songs that I came up with when I was here. Of course, some of them were, were about uh, when I get rich. Because <laughs> I don't think this is a lifestyle I wanted all to. Very tiring, hot, sad. Man, the struggle is real. So I believe that almost everyone gets an opportunity out here. I haven't always been a group person. I've always been an individual riding solo. But then uh, here comes soul generation. I actually don't feel like I've been signed. I feel adopted. <laughs> Because I was brought into a family, man. The love is so real. Almost everyone, man, they needs a team. The few artists that I've seen grow, they actually have a team behind them. So that was the first thing that I loved about this whole generation. We have a team and we have a family. Once you've made a big step, it becomes such a big deal whether you're coming back or not. So 
that is in theory for you. 